Today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D object for Worms Clan Wars, whether that be a hat or a gravestone. Um, it's all basically the same. The gravestones are a little bit different. With um, hats, you have to make four different versions to fit the four different uh, classes of the worms. But with the gravestone, it's just one for all. Okay, so um, start by uh, going to your library. Go to Tools. Scroll down until you see Worms Clan War Wars Editor. Install that, it shouldn't take too long. Now back where I was, there is a guide on how to do it. Um, I'll just quickly go through it for some of the requirements. Okay, so it has to be exported as an FBX or a Colora, Colorada. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. The poly count, polygon count must be a maximum of 675. Vertex count can be a maximum of 5000. The texture resolution should be no more than 256. It won't allow it any higher, as far as I know. I've done it so many times. I've done a 512 map, forgetting that it had to be 256, and it doesn't work, and I've been frustrated and cracked the shits and whatnot, and um, then I realise it's just something so stupid that I'd forgotten. Okay, so it's only you can only have normal and diffuse maps, or a colour map. It's got some other name. I can't really pronounce it. It starts with A, though. Basically... Um, Basically like this, like the colours, that sort of stuff. And see how it's got the uh, kind of crinkles and stuff? That would be uh, most likely normal mapped. I could be wrong. Um, basically, if you want an object but you don't want to normal map it, you have to have a normal map. I'll show you how to get around that. Um, textures have to be TGA format. Has to be used with a blend shader. I'll go into a little bit of detail with that, basically showing you. Um, so yeah, as I was saying before, you know, you, when making an item, you must make four versions of it. It's due to four different kinds of worm. Each worm will be different in shape and size. You need to make an item once, and then, you know, resize it to fit all the worms. Um, yeah, okay, so this is, uh, if you're making items, the item must fit within the bounding box OBJ provided. This represents the maximum size of any item. Okay, so I basically, I could just read through all this, and you could, you know, follow it. It's, you know, how I did it. Um, it's pretty good. Um, it's always good if you, you know, if you don't want to watch my video and you just want to go at your own pace, you know, you can go at this. Maybe you can't understand my Australian accent. Anyway, so when that's been installed, the Worms Clan Ward Editor, what you're going to want to do is <coughs> go into your 3D modeling program. I'll be using Maya 2014. Now, I've got some uh, pre made hats already. Um, okay, so, let's just say you've made a hat, yeah? I'll just grab this one. Now, to, uh, there's many ways you can do this, but either way, you, um, assign a new material to it, and then it would come up like this, select blin, I've already done it, so then I'd go to blin, and then what we want is to go on colour, It'll be like a little box like this. Click that. Now this is an old one. I'm using the Astro Bears one. It was the last one I used, and I thought this would be, you know, pretty simple. Okay, so now you got to locate. Um, oh God, my voice just broke. Apparently. Anyway, I've jumped a step. Okay, so um, once you've unwrapped that, oh man, it sucks having a one screen. I can tell you that much. Okay, so basically, this is what this is, it's not the best unwrap, but um, it's a very simple game, you know, it doesn't have to be too great, and you know, the worms are pretty small, you can zoom up, but you know, still, I'm sure you can go into crazy detail and whatnot, but I think bright colours and everything, you know, it works pretty good, this is clearly not bright, but you know, you get what I mean. So you would export this by going UV snapshot. Changes to 256 by 250. Yep, there you go. Save it as whatever. I save it as JPEG, quite personally. Once that's uh, you know done, you would uh, spit it out. Um, you would edit it in uh, Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you use. Basically, uh, here's my texture. All right, so it's badly done, but like you know, it's a color and the HD bacon logo. Okay, so like I don't want it normal mapped, but absolutely must get a uh, normal map for it otherwise it won't work so this is what my uh, hat normal looks like 
<clears throat> okay, so uh, to get one of these, I think I just typed in uh, flat normal map from memory. There you go. So, get any of these. Oh god, not this one. You want one that's uh, blank. That This one's 256 by 256. You can get any size one, but just make sure you, sh you, uh, you rename it, resize it by uh, to 256 by 256. Okay, so once that's done, you're basically ready to uh, put it onto uh, your object, as I was going to do. Okay, so I'm going to select the new texture. Uh, there we go, it's loaded in. Click this. Okay, so... Hmm. I don't think I'm happy with that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back into Photoshop. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be a really quick bad edit. It's not the end of the world, but... Alright, now, I need to get pictures. Just in case. Alright. Now, it might have been the way I unwrapped this that it, it might just not work. You know, I might have to actually do this all over again. Alright, let's try that. So, yeah, you know, you can go back... Uh, back and forth and whatnot. Um, now, save it as a TGA. Um, I do 32 bits pixel. I, I don't think this really affects it working or not. Now, you want to reload the texture. Oh, looks okay, I guess. Okay. Hmm. I could have probably done a lot worse of a unwrap. But anyway, um, now go to bump mapping, click on this, it'll be just like a little check it. Now in this case it would be fine doing this, but um, I'll just select it in the same f file structure. Oh, what the hell man, why'd you put me all the way back here? I'm too lazy. There we go, I'm trying to uh, make this quick too. Okay, so it's just a flat normal map, I'm pretty sure I even set the uh, strength down to uh, zero um, from memory which one is it? I think it's this one no. basically when you first do this you'll see a slider and you can change how much the bump affects the model um, yeah so once you are apply all these models I should be able to just uh, it's been a while since I've actually done any uh, 3D work there we go okay so they're all using uh, I've got no idea why I had <laughs> four different blends I could have just used the one alright so now you're thinking okay that's pretty much it not quite you need to uh, get the templates that they provide. You can just find them the easiest ways is by uh, right clicking on Worms Clan Wars Editor, clicking on Local Files, click on Browse Local Files. You'll see these templates and you'll see these names. Um, heavy face reference, that's like if you want to make a moustache or glasses. We're looking for hats in this case, so just select all the ones that say hat. Alright, four. Okay. So, basically just do what I've done with the hats. You just work with all of them. Okay, so that's a scout. So, basically, you'd model your hat, get it to fit the worm as best as you can. Um, you will have some clipping issues and whatnot. Um, where is it? I think if I go zero, it should be a perfect fit. No, not quite. But basically, um, just get it as close as possible, like it's not too much of an issue. Like these are the eyebrows that stick out. Um, you basically just want it to, you know, look look right. Okay, so um, 
in my in your case it'll have all different numbers here what you want to do you want this all to be uh, zeroed out so you go freeze transformations edit delete all by type history now you want to go export selection do not want to go there save it to wherever you want it wherever is easiest and um, I just normally call it the name of the worm and um, you know hat or whatever it is so in this case it's a it's scouts hat so I'll just type in scout hat and then um, you can move them to the side or whatever now if you've moved these see how it's the number you just hit zero that's in the middle that's where you want to uh, fit it now I'm not sure which one's which okay, it's a pretty good fit okay so one's for heavy and the other one's for scientist I'm guessing this one might be scientist it helps to uh, name in them and stuff I guess um, when doing a tutorial but anyway so you basically just do the exact same thing modify transformation freeze etc etc uh, okay. Oh, yeah. This one. Okay, now I shouldn't have to do any of that, so I'm just going to take a chance here and hope for the best. Um. What do you call it? I just always call Science Egghead because it's uh, an old game that I used to play. It was an, a cheat. And I've just always <laughs> thought of them as that egghead. Anyways. So, once that's done, now it's time to, uh, you know, see how the... Uh, no, I won't do it. Uh, it's important to save your Photoshop files. In my case, it's not going to be that big of a problem. Alright, so now we open up the tool editor. So you're pre presented with this uh, window. Alright, so um, select the model. Oops. Okay. Now in this case it's soldier, so I just always start with soldier, because they do. Now this is where you have to give it a name. Um, give it the same name. It, it doesn't overwrite the FBX or anything like that. It puts it into a uh, another file. Okay, so you can manually supply the textures. Like if you want to, you know, say if you didn't make, you had a normal map saved elsewhere, and they weren't together, you just do this and select where it is. Or if for some reason you forgot to put it inside your 3D editing program. Okay, so it's got to basically spit it out where the FBX is. Go convert, and it'll show you. It says convert successful. So this is how the hat looks in the game, or how it will look. You know, looks pretty cool. Next, you know, um, load in your next model. We'll do a uh, scientist. Uh, and now select the scientist. So as you can see, that's why you have to make four different versions. Oh, that big vein. Oops, and there we go. And um, yeah, just repeat this process. Just make sure uh, you select the right ones. And you, know, you can turn the uh, model around, you know, get a good look of it. Okay, now we just need Scout. Oops, almost did a doozy. Alright. So as you can see, there, there's the eyebrow, like, just right there. It's not too big of an issue in my case. You know, I don't really, I don't really mind it. Now, go to the Build Asset um, tab. Give it a name. I'm going to call it HD Beacon uh, Hat. Select what to uh, asset it is. This will tell it, uh, you know, where it's got to be basically building it. 
Now you select the meshes, which is the converted file. So heavy goes to heavy. Scout goes to scout. Soldier goes to soldier. You get the idea. Um, what the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? <laughs> okay. So what I normally like to do is like I, I like to have the soldier basically as the you know normal picture, but I think in this case I'll I'll do heavy. Now just in case. Now this is just for um <coughs> screenshotting wise basically. Um, okay, so we've selected all that. So um yeah, make sure like whatever worm you want to be showing the asset off in my case it'll be heavy so basically how you want to show the hat All right, screenshot give it a name this is what the name will be when you're looking for the item so um yeah you agree to the terms and services you, know, you can view it here if you'd like that'll just spit up a file well did they need to put that in two links did they so when you've done that Click that, hit publish. If you're on Australian internet, it'll probably take about 50 years, if you're lucky. Um, there we go. I, I guess we were a bit luckier than the average Australian. Okay, so you've got it on private, if you've done it on private like I have. Okay, so it won't exist. But no fear. Just go to your uh, profile. Go to... Workshop items. And here you'll have all your items that you've made. Click on this. Now to test the game, uh, test it in game, just hit subscribe. Depending on how big your thing is, you know, mine was 1.2 megs. Alright, so to go to customization, customize worms. This will be like, would you like to check for workshop content? Say so yes. It'll find it, you say yes. It'll download what it hasn't been downloaded. Now go to outfit. Now these are all uh in my case that's my uh, new hat. And there you have it. You should have uh, you know your new uh, hat. Well, freshly made um, 3D asset. I'm not very good at uh, talking and uh, playing. <laughs> I seem to do like doing. On you. Oh yes, I've got a uh, custom, <laughs> custom sound packs. But um, yeah. If uh, there's any questions, oh uh, god, I suck at this game. <laughs> Once it's worked and everything, change the visibility to public. And again, now other people can uh, see it. Okay, so yeah. Uh, if you have any uh, trouble. The best place to go is guides. Um, I've added in my favourites. It's called Worm, Worms Clan Wars Editor and Steam Workshop. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.